Hey everybody, welcome to the Jada and Stitches show. As many of you know, I like to make some new warm woolies in time for the cool weather every year. And I thought it was high time we made ourselves a new headband. This is another classic style of headband that I just love. It's the simple twist. But today we're gonna make it a little bit fancier by using the half double crochet V-stitch going sideways. Think flying geese. <laughs> This is a really simple, fast project. You'll have one made in no time. And if you're planning on making it as a gift for someone and you don't have the head available that you're going to make it for, we do have a handy head sizing chart available for use over on our website. So if you head to jadaandstitches.com and go to the tools page, scroll down, you'll find our head sizing chart and it will have circumferences that are general and average sizing for just about everybody. That said, let's grab our hooks, grab our chunky weight yarn, head on into the craft table, and make ourselves up a simple twist headband. For today's simple twist headband, I'm using a chunky weight yarn, size 5, 100% acrylic, in a nice rich red. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and today's hook is a 5.5 millimeter or an I9. And once you've got all that, we can get started. To begin, we're going to start with a slip knot. And we're going to chain 12. Once you've chained 12, be careful not to twist it. We're going to find the fourth chain from the hook and we're going to half double crochet into it. We're going to be using the half double crochet V-stitch pattern today. Nice and quick and simple. So once you've half double crocheted once, you're going to chain one and half double crochet again into the same chain. So a half double crochet V-stitch is half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet, worked into the same stitch or chain. We're going to skip the next two chains, find the third, and work another half double crochet V-stitch into it. So half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet into the same chain. Skip two stitches, find the third, and half double crochet V-stitch. Half double crochet, chain one, and half double crochet into the same chain. That should leave you with two chains. You're going to skip one, find the last chain, and half double crochet just once into that last chain. And that is the pattern for the entire headband. I'll take you through row two. Every row you're going to begin with a chain three. Turn your work. That chain three counts as a half double crochet, chain one. Find the next V-stitch so you can pull it apart Find that V-stitch from the previous row and into the middle of it, so not the stitch, just the space, work a half double crochet V-stitch. So half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet into the very middle of that previous V-stitch. Skip over to the next V-stitch. Be careful not to get the spaces in between them. So find the next V-stitch and work a V-stitch into that one. Half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. You should have one more left. There's your other V-stitch. Find the middle of that one and work a half double crochet V-stitch into the middle of that one as well. That brings you to the very end. You should have a chain three on the end. You're going to skip over the first chain, find the next one and half double crochet into it. And that is the row. So the rows begin with chain three, that counts as a half double crochet, chain one. Skip over to the center of the next V-stitch, work a whole V-stitch into the space between those two half double crochets, and do the same thing into each V-stitch all the way across. Every row will have three complete V-stitches in it, and we'll have a chain three at the beginning and a half double crochet stitch on the very end. Always chain three to begin every row, turn your work, find the first V-stitch and work a V-stitch into it. You're going to continue this pretty little pattern <laughs> until the length of this piece of fabric 
fits around the circumference of your head. And once it's that long, um, you can come back. <laughs> I'll catch up with you and I'll show you what to do next. Once you've crocheted a length of fabric that fits around your head snugly when just slightly stretched or if you're doing it from a particular measurement, so for example my head circumference is 22 inches approximately all the way around and if I measure this piece of fabric and I stretch it just slightly just and I mean like look how very little I stretched it it comes up to the 22 inch mark so that is exactly how much <laughs> fabric I need to go around my head so once it's as long as you need it to be you're going to fasten off your yarn leave a long tail because you're going to actually sew up your two short edges with it Fasten off, grab your yarn needle, and on the other end, you're going to take your little short tail and weave it in back and forth across some of the stitches that you find there on the inside of that first or second row. So first pull it one way and then weave it back through a couple of stitches. And don't do it too tight because you don't want to stretch that bottom row out of alignment. But there it is, all woven in. Then you're going to take your band of fabric and you're going to create one flip. So take the end, I'm going to show you that again. So here it is lying flat. You're going to take the end with the tie and create one flip so now it's laying flat on the surface again and you've got a twist right in the middle. Then you're going to thread up the end of your long tail that you left behind and without untwisting it, bring the two short ends together and you're just going to sew through both ends. You should have the same number, so if you've got the same number of stitches and chains across both edges. You're just going to nice and simply sew through both ends to sew up that seam and then we'll knot off and weave in that tail as well. Once you've sewn all the way up that seam you can create a simple little knot by just tying one there with your yarn and then you can sort of flip it inside out and just weave that little tail, not all of it if you've got a lot left over, through some of the stitches on the inside of your headband. Don't pull too tight because you don't want to change, change the width of it at all. Just go back and forth a couple times. There we go. And I'm using a fairly grabby yarn, so I know that if I go back and forth a couple times, it's not going to come out. I can trim the excess. There we go. And that is the back of my twist headband and there's the twist at the front. And you're done! And there you go, one simple twist headband with the half double crochet V-stitch. Really pretty, really quick and really useful, especially for the cool weather ahead. I want to thank everybody who has popped into our Etsy shop lately and done some shopping, especially in time for the busy gift making season. We really appreciate your support of the show and we thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed making this along with us this week and we will see you really soon here on the Jaden Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty and have an awesome week everybody. Bye!